What is up, friends and family of the YouTube community? King Yao here today with the story, the story of the King Yao mentality, why the King Yao mentality was changed the world. Like I said, King Yao's mission, purpose in life is to serve God, and his vision in life has already come true. So he's now he's just trying to accomplish his mission in life, which is to create a movement to bring joy and inspiration to people all over the globe through nutrition and fitness by unleashing my relentless powers of belief, faith, courage, love, passion, creativity, hunger, drive, determination, and resourcefulness in order to help solve the major problem of obesity epidemic that's currently put against our society today. Now, King Yao is really, really passionate about what he does. He's, he has a lot of passion because he learned from his mentors, Steve Jobs, that um, people with passion can really change the world. Now, King Yao has, um, like I say, King Yao shared a story on um, why the King Yao mentality was created. Now, my real name, if you guys don't know, is Chi Yao, which is, like I said, look how beautiful this vision board is, guys. Like I said, my real name is Chi Yao. In China, that means energy. Uh, I was born in China. Um, this is just the life story with y'all. I was born in China, in Beijing, in 1991. And, uh, yeah, I moved to America when I was, like, five or six, I think, when I was a kid. I lived in America most of my life, and I love the city, and I love America because it's freedom for the people, man. Freedom to the people is awesome. Like, that's why I love giving away free stuff, because it makes my fe life feel so much more energizing. Um, but, um, yeah. So, the King Out mentality was created based on the Kobe mentality, which is being a fierce leader, you know, being a king in your life. And right now, King Out is having a little hard time, um showcasing his gifts to the world and like I said he just really appreciates his fans sharing the fuck out of his videos because that's what's allowed him to persevere thus far but King Yao would like to ask people to share his story with the world right now like I said King Yao is all about storytelling and the, the power of a story sells so well so yeah like I said King Yao just wants his story to be shared by the world which is that he's trans um in order to transform our mindset like Guys, I struggle with the eating disorder most of my life. Um, Y'all don't know that. Binge eating, disorder, binge eating disorder my whole life. And, um, but they're using the content of my own YouTube channel and investing in coaches and mentors, which is uh, King Yao Commandment number four, I believe. Like I said, I'm just referencing King Yao videos and shit. Um, but King Yao really believes in the power of using mentors, like Tony Robbins. Uh, I use Tony Robbins a lot. Um, E.T. Remember E.T. said about eating out the trash cans and King Yao had to eat out the trash cans for a couple years. Like I said, King Yao just keep it, keep it real with y'all. Keep it honest. Keep it 100. So, yeah. Um, and there's, uh, who else is there? Les Brown. Um, even like the great artists in the world like Eminem, Jay-Z, and Nas, and um, Tupac. You know, Kobe, obviously, because like I said, the Kobe mentality really inspired King Yao to create the King Yao mentality. And the King Yao mentality is just this fearless leader who's a warrior for his people. And right now, King Yao is trying to, trying to accomplish that mission through these videos. So King Yao would just really appreciate it if you would share this story with the world. And, yeah, help King Yao out of his pickle he's in. So, so and the thing with King Yao's pickle is he, he threw a big party couple weeks ago called the King Out Fest and unfortunately the shit just got him evicted from the landlord and right now he has nowhere to go with no money in his pocket and he's learning the secret of resourcefulness is uh, Tony Robbins from his mentor in life which is why he's so desperate on reaching his videos to, to sorry having his video to be shared for Tony Robbins because Tony Robbins is a resource resource resources that he can offer to help King Out out so King Out would just be really grateful like I said King Out, regardless of what happens in King Out's life, King Out is here to create this legacy for himself. He believes that CY, Chi Yao, last two letters in the legacy. That's what it means, baby. Yes, sir. And King Out's here to be the goat of everything. Being the goat of everything means you gotta constantly beat your crap in order to, to, to master your crap. You gotta constantly beat your crap. And that's what the relentless commitment is coming about, guys. Is this, is this um, feeling of constant evol evolution. A constant, like, like 50 Cent used to say, man, like, I just didn't learn from my mentors, you know what I'm saying? So, 50 Cent said, 
It is book hustle harder, hustle smarter, like here, here to show a little wisdom and shit. Um, you gotta be able to run it in an endless tunnel. That's what life is about, running an endless tunnel towards nowhere. But you have to have faith in the mission and faith in the vision on the way you're going in your life. And right now, King Al just believed that he has the epic story to share with the world, and he has a gift that's coming out that's exploding right now. Um, and he wants to share it with the world. And he's having a hard time getting his content out there to the big, the big people who can help him. Like I said, big, the big players in, in life today, like Nike, Amazon, Apple, all that shit. Like, if one guy in this company is here to King Al's story, it would change the world. Like I said, King Al's just an epic story that would change the world. And he's here to create his legacy. And regardless of what happens, um, you know, like I said, he's true to his fans. These promises, he promises that he'll get to go to everything for y'all. Okay? He made that in a personal video, video blog. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's just a story of how King Yao mentality was created. It was just so created, forged through steel, through battles of test times with myself. Um, like I said, being addicted to the food, that shit sucked. It just really, really fucking sucked because I would go nights where I would eat like thousands and thousands of calories and I always felt ashamed my, with my body. And now um, I'm learning to use food as a way to nourish myself. And to, like I said, food just, like here's the thing I'm gonna wish quote for y'all. Food is just fuel for the soul, right? So if you're eating just for your soul, then you gotta, you gotta boost your, like you gotta treat your body like a Ferrari, guys. You gotta treat your body like a Ferrari. Cause the shit takes you from the beginning of life to the end of life. So, King Yao is so love to show you his vision board because he hasn't really had time to show off his vision board, his new one. But he's showing out the beauty of it. Like, look at the beauty. Look how beautiful that vision board is, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That beautiful. And King Yao's love for anime, obviously. He loves. He believes in. He believes in Yu-Gi-Oh because Yu-Gi-Oh taught him how to play with heart. Um, like anything in life, everything in life in King Al's life gives meaning to King Al's life and breeds um, power into King Al's life. Like King Al's here just to create this legacy for himself. And I know I talk, I know I always talk about legacy guys, but legacy is something you leave behind. And if you have everlasting legacy, then your name will live in time. The King Al's trying to remember forever. You know his hunger that he transformed for himself in order to build his King Al mentality. And, um, yeah, like I said, King Yao is just this fearless leader mindset that I created for myself. And now that King Yao's arrived, King Yao is here to show you all the process, you know, how he gets down and shit, what he does in his free time, how he feeds his mind. And that's why he has all these epic videos for y'all. Uh, videos, like I said, I, King Yao's in his opinion, he's the best thumb YouTube thumbnail, thumbnail maker in the game. Like, ain't no one better do better YouTube thumbnail than King Yao. King Al's making the best videos, so that's why King Al believes he's the best YouTuber on the planet. And he's just here to accomplish his mission in life, which is to teach y'all the mentality and show y'all the process. Like I said, the process is where you become the best version of yourself. So, yeah, so now that King Al's arrived, King Al's going to show you the process. So, guys, if you enjoy my videos, please go like, comment, subscribe, and holla back at your boy! King Yao, out another day, showing y'all the mentality, the brand, the whole juice, y'all. Later, y'all.